High school is building a football team from the ground up, and in this case, the ground for the new Hanover County School is awfully dusty. But you won't find head coach John Trott complaining. Trott has been running at full speed since he left the successful job at Henrico High to play a role in putting together the Atley program. The old squad was I was in 11 years, and this is a chance to start something from brand new. We get, you know, we don't have everything like we wanted, but everything we I put will be our trademark, or the Atley trademark, and I'm excited about that. Trot may be excited, but inexperienced will be the way to describe the first edition of the Raider football team. There's a good chance Atley will stumble its way through the first season, since out of the 91 players in the squad, just two are seniors. I think it's great. New school, new team, it's just a pleasure to have. I'm glad to be an elder here. I feel like all the kids could just learn from me, maybe being one of the only varsity football players from Lee Davis last year. While the players learn about football, the coaches are using tape on the helmets just to learn the players' names. And Atlee has only 25 days to get ready for its first game on August 30th. But things could be a lot worse. Two weeks ago, we didn't have any equipment in. Uh, we were missing footballs. I thought it will never come together. And I guess it will eventually get together. We're still missing a few things. But, uh, uh, you know, it's, I'm, we're, it's there now. we got to get started. And speaking of starting from scratch, you are looking at what will one day be at least football stadium. It won't be ready until mid-October, so until then, the Raiders will play all their games on the road. And their first ever contest will be against county rival Lee Davis. At the new Adley High School, Greg Bond, WTVR, TV6 Sports.